hi, thanks for joining me. In this video segment, I'm going to zero in on the naming of acids. They can be a little bit tricky, uh, but I think if you can get some practice and learn the patterns, you'll be much better off for naming your acids. Now, we can talk about acids in two broad classes. One is a binary acid, and that contains two types of elements. It's just a hydrogen ion with a non-metal anion, such as sulfur or sulfide. So that binary acid would be H2S. And then we have ternary acids. That's H plus with one of our polyatomic ions. Now, a student came up with a phrase that I think will help you. Uh, the saying goes, I ate something icky. So I ate, if the polyatomic ion ended in A-T-E, whether it's per eight or just eight, you drop the eight, add ick, and the word acid. That word acid tells you that your cation is the H plus cation. So I ate something icky. Notice we do not drop that uh, prefix there. We only change the suffix. So per eight becomes per ick and acid. Eight becomes ick. So I ate something icky, all night I was nauseous. So if it, the anion ended in it, you change it to us and add the word acid. Hypoite becomes hypo us. So it becomes us, regardless of whether it had a prefix or not. Okay. And the last, we were really struggling on this, but we found one. I took a ride on a hydraulic plane. Okay, so if it ends in "-ide", and that's for the most part our binary acids, there is an exception, um, but if it ends in "-ide", this is the only time. Note in this case that I added a prefix. Up till now, I have not added a prefix, I have not dropped a prefix. This time I added a prefix and changed the ending to "-ate". So it becomes hydroic. Now, again, like I said, these were these are our binaries with the exception of cyanide becomes, and it follows the rules, it's just not binary. It becomes hydrocyanic acid. There is one more polyatomic ion that ends in IDE, but that's hydroxide. If you add an H plus to it, you have water. So we don't need to name it according to acid rules. Now, one of the things that I have said to my kids, and we kind of have started to chant it, hydro no o. In other words, you're not going to have an oxygen like you would in so many of the polyatomic ions. And that will help you out a little bit. If you see the word hydro, the anion does not have an oxygen in it. Before you add the word hydro, make sure the anion does not have an oxygen in it. I would say that's the most challenging part, is when you deal with that hydro portion of it. So let's take a look at some examples. So everything depends upon your ability to name your polyatomic ions. And so if you don't know your polyatomic ions, well, my kids know what I say about that. Okay, so if I have HBr, in all of these, the cation is H+, plus, so my anion is Br-, minus, and that name is bromide. IDE is a single element anion with the exception of cyanide and hydroxide. So that's bromide. If it ends in ide, that's the only time we add that prefix so this would be hydro brome ick acid. Okay, ide goes to hydro ick. Double check, I do not have an oxygen in that, so it's okay to add that hydro. Okay, my next one, SO4 2 minus. That is the sulfate ion. 
So sulfate becomes ick. Now, some of you may want to put sulfic down, but with phosphorus and sulfur, that U-R and O-R go in and out pretty regularly. So if you say it in your mind, sulfic acid doesn't sound right to most. So sulfuric acid, I ate something icky. Okay. NO2 minus, that's the nitrite ion. All night I was nauseous. So it goes to us. Sorry about that, I forgot my R. Nitrous acid. Okay, now we've got BRO3 minus. Bromite, it goes to, or excuse me, Dina. Bromate, almost made a mistake there. That's the bromate ion. Eight goes to ick, bromic acid. There's an oxygen in there, so don't get tempted to add that hydro, because remember, hydro, no O. Okay, this is P3 minus, that's the phosphide ion. Whoops, phosphide, I'd, goes to hydro. So that becomes hydrophosphoric. Do you see that OR popping right back in there? Acid. This is a binary acid. The binary acids have hydro in front of it. Remember, no O, hydro. Okay, ClO2 minus, that is chlorite. It goes to us, so that becomes the chlorous acid. And IO minus is hypo, oops, sorry, my mind goes faster than my hand can keep up sometimes, hypo -io -dite. So that then becomes, I'll put it in a different color so you can see it more clearly, hypoiodous acid. Okay, so hopefully you're seeing that pattern pretty clearly. It takes a lot of practice to get these down very well. So now let's go in the opposite direction. How do you get the acid formula from the acid name? So if I've got us, us must have come from it, so I must have the phos Phosphite ion, phosphite is PO33 minus. Now, my, that's my anion. My cation in every case is H plus. So I need three positives to balance out those three negatives. So it's H3PO3. Okay, perchloric. Ick came from eight. So I must be coming from perchlorate ion, and that is ClO4 negative 1. I've got one negative, so I only need one positive, so that's HClO4. Okay. Again, everything is originating from our anion. So it's so very, very important that you know your anions, that you know those polyatomic ions that your teacher is so intent on, on torturing you with. Okay, ick came from eight, so this comes from nitrate. Nitrate is NO3 negative one. I only need one H plus. Now, do you notice that in every case that H plus is coming on the front of the anion? We always put cations before anions. Perbromic came from perbromate. 
BrO4 minus, sorry, I didn't write that down, I went backwards. That's the perbromate ion. Perbromate. Hopefully you won't need this much work as you get good at these. HBrO4. Ooh, hydro. Remember, hydro, no O. So hydroic came from ide, sulfide. That's simply an S. Hydro, no O. Count over to your nearest noble gas, and you see it has a two negative charge, which requires two positives to balance it. Acetic acid. There's a few ways to write acetate. Um, one way is to write it like this. Um, I like this because it, it implies the structure in a little bit more detail. But acetate is also written as C2. H3O2 minus. So that's acetate. Sorry, I did that one backwards too, but I think you get the idea. HC2H3O2. Okay. So hypo, not hydro, hypochlorous comes from hypochlorite which is CLO minus HClO. And then iodus, us came from it. All night I was nauseous. So that's iodite, which is IO2 minus HIO2. Okay. Thanks for joining me. And to all my kiddos out there, this is signing off.